Hello everyone. This is David with the fish. I did a video yesterday showing just a, a unbelievable harvest of whiteworms out of a tub. And I know it's going to get a ton of comments saying, oh, it's crashed, it's crashed. Uh, yes, it's getting to be close, but no, it did not crash. That was an unbelievable number of worms. They're leaving because they don't like the soil anymore, but they haven't crashed. And to show you, I want to show you the exact same tub today. This is the exact same tub. And there's still plenty of worms. But nothing like there was yesterday because I harvested them. The key to keeping one from crashing when it just gets to have so many worms that you don't hardly know what to do with all of them is to harvest the little boogers. When they get terribly, terribly overpopulated, see how many worms we got going in there? That's amazing. You've got to harvest to keep the numbers down. Now, this particular container here, they gave me that unbelievable harvest yesterday. As you can see, they're devouring the worm, the bread. And I'm going to see if I can peel. <laughs> what do you think? There's no bread there, that's just worms. I'm going to peel that much worms off. Put the cover back on. And this one will continue producing. Now, is the soil getting tired? Yes, but they will continue producing. And as you look at the bottom, there's still worms all through this mixture. See? So the soil has not soured. It's just grown so many worms, there's not room for all of them. That's exactly what you want. Now, here's another one. It's getting close. This one is getting close to being in the same stage. We've got worms running all over the place here, all along the edge. I'm about to have still another container go ballistic with the worms. This one's got more peat in it than the normal kind of dirt I use, so it comes out looking really dirty. But this is another beautiful one. As you can see, I'm feeding, wow, they've eaten all the yogurt off, they've eaten all the nutritional yeast off, and they're starting to work on the bread. So, that's a good culture going in there. Here's another one that you can see. Just might have one more here. That's really busy. If you look here at the number of worms, worm population in here is just, look at that. I think this one will also be just exploding here in another couple of days. So I'm in pretty good shape with the worms. Now, this is being fed a good whole wheat bread, a good yogurt, plain yogurt that still has live cultures in it, and nutritional yeast. The container is potting mix, and it is being kept in a wine cooler 
This last one I've had for, I don't know, probably close to 10 years. I got off of Amazon on sale for like $150. So for $150 bucks and $3 worth of food to feed them with every week, I've got unlimited quantities of very nutritious, high protein, high quality fish food, live fish food for my fish. So you might want to consider this. Uh, that's the last of this one for the day. Just wanted to show the white worms still just keep on coming. This is Davey with the fish. Thank you for watching. Take good care of your fish.